Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Mystical. Today I am bringing you a video going over every build that you need for Mistweaver and for Windwalker in PvP and for Mistweaver in PvE as well. And with that said, let's jump right into the video. As always, all of the links for the builds are in the description below. Today I will be starting with Mistweaver PvP in threes. I will also go over the stats. I go Verse Mastery Haste in normal arena i kind of use this hybrid build that i've been using it's about i don't know about 20 percent haste 140 percent mastery 26 percent burst when you're in pvp i think it's really solid i think it's really good this is the talent build i run not much is going to change this video from previous patches mostly because not much has changed but the manatee did change and i use life cycles i think life cycles is much much better than the energizing brew next is pvp fist weaver and this is what i'm using pretty much every single game as fist weaver i think it's really solid with the new manatee changes i still think you want manatee uh, with life cycles because you're gonna be running one vivacious vivification you get the instant vivify you get the rising sun kick buff you can keep alternating between them so i think that's pretty good i think you mana wise it's a little bit rougher for fifth sweeping now that spirit of the crane is gone but the goal is still the same run haste verse as much as you can and just run down tunnel down one enemy and just grind them down until you can just get them in touch death range and you can kill them Next is my solo shuffle build, and this is what I'm running pretty much every single time. I did drop some points in, from Misty Peaks because I just felt like it was just super RNG. If you don't like having the Tier of Morning, or if you want to get Misty Peaks, drop one Rapid Diffusion and drop Tier of Morning and put two into Misty Peaks. I just felt like the buff was like super RNG. It, it's still good, and I do run Haste Verse, so you get a lot of value out of Hots in, in solo shuffle, but I just feel like in general, it just wasn't good enough. So I just go for the extra healing with Vivify, get the extra duration on my Renewing Mist when after after I press Envelope Mist, and I just get a ton of healing that way. On the left-hand side, not much changes. It's just a standard Mistweaver build. Next is my RBG build. And again, this doesn't change much. I will change to Diffuse Magic if I'm queuing into an Affliction Warlock just because it's a nice defensive against them. Um, and on the right-hand side, nothing changes unless you're healing the Flag Carrier. I would say if you're healing the Flag Carrier, that means you're not in the team fight. So many Proliferation, I drop and I go to Common Coalescence just because you want the huge Life Cocoon for your tank. Um, outside of that, th those are the only points I change. Hate heavy, heavy haste first in in RBGs as well. You're going to take advantage of Rapid Diffusion, Dancing Mists, and Misty Peaks. Get a lot of Renewing Mists out. Hopefully proc Envelope Mist off those Renewing Mists. And then that Envelope Mist will also proc your Overflowing Mist. And it just it's just so much healing. Adding a little Windwalker to the video. You don't see it often, but I do... From time to time, play Windwalker. This is the Windwalker build I'm running. The goal of this build is to stay alive with your defensives like Yulon's Grace or Diffuse Magic, depending on what you're queuing into. Dampen Harm, Fort Brew, and then you have your really good Expel Harm healing. And then on the right-hand side, you're trying to just take advantage of your Skyreach buff. You're going to be bouncing between enemies, trying to keep this buff up, trying to get the buff when you have your damage. You want to fail and Stomp, obviously, for the damage increase. Whenever you're swapping targets, make sure that debuff is on them. And then you're playing Rolling Dragon Punch with Serenity, and you just do... You do a lot of damage like so much damage you could also if you're playing you know in pvp you could also go for the alpha tiger buff that gives you haste when you hit a new target 30 second cooldown so if you keep bouncing between targets you'll be able to get the sky reach buff and you also get the alpha tiger and you most teams will just not know how to deal with the damage this is the build i use when i fist weave in pve mostly mythic plus not really raids that much on the left hand side you're just again standard you're using resonant fists to get the aoe damage even though it's target capped and then you also have chi burst again really good damage you're also going to take advantage of the generous pour that gives you uh, teammates four percent reduced damage from area attack spells and then close to heart because if you're fist weaving you get the extra healing which is really really good and on the right hand side not much is different from fist weaving um from P for pve i do tend to play zen pulse it's really good you get big pulls big aoe damage you do insane amounts of healing which i think is fantastic and then i do run life cycles as well with manatee just because i am running vivacious vivification so you can keep alternating those buffs getting stacks of manatee i feel like in fist weavers don't really have too much man issues but with their you know spirit of the crane being removed you do kind of need to pay attention just a little bit more to your mana and finally i get asked this quite often that is what my casting mythic plus build is this is what i've been running for mythic plus not much has changed i go with manatee i go with life cycle just because i like it a lot more i did drop peaceful mending and i went with missy peaks but i think i might actually like peaceful mending a bit more just because you get the bonus healing i don't I actually don't know why that swapped because i feel like i played that before but yeah left hand side is pre pretty similar to the fist weaving one 
Um, I don't really use Chi Burst. I use Chi Wave. Uh, they was so minute. You could probably play whatever you want. On the right hand side, you're just kind of going for haste verse and trying to take advantage of your your misty peaks or not your misty peaks, your uh, dancing mists and your rapid diffusion, and then just healing as much as you can with your soothing mist. And Shadowlands gift is great. Gives great buffs. Really good AOE heal as well. That is pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. Again, all the builds are in the description. And that's it. Hope everyone has a fantastic day. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you later.